Okay, fight fans, fight fiends, welcome back to Manny's Thoughts. I, of course, Manny MTL or Manny Montreal. Make sure to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and obviously, thefightcity.com. As usual, I'll give you guys my thoughts on what's going down in the world of combat sports. Let's get started. First up, as usual, congratulations are due. The greatest of all times, folks. George St. Pierre. What a beautiful win. Fantastic jabs. Great body work. Fantastic takedowns. People were worried about ring rust. Believe that. I said before this fight, the absolute worst George St. Pierre is still better than the best Bisbing. Bottom line, George St. Pierre is a phenomenal athlete. And he transcends the sport now. I personally believe he is the greatest of all time, like I stated. It's not just about the way he fights, or the fact that he's taken on so many great challenges. But outside of the ring, he's a true champion as well. I'm just happy George won. Overall, it was a really tough UFC for me. Most of the guys that I was rooting for didn't get to pull it out. Thankfully, everyone is healthy, so... On the bright side, Rose Namajunas. Thug Rose. I got a crush on her. I ain't gonna hide it. There is something about this girl. I really like the quiet, mean-looking ones, so I guess that's what it is. But, man. And then, you know, there was something, there was a theme going on. Between her win and George's win, I really hope this will mark a new trend. That trash-talking should only be reserved for those that really, really, really can do it. Rose had an excellent victory speech. And uh, I don't think enough people are talking about it. I think she quite possibly gave the most poignant victory speech ever. Completely selfless on top of that. Fantastic stuff for her. <sighs> Congratulations, Deontay Wilder. I guess we're in the Wilder era. I don't know what to make of them. I think I'm going to make a video because I, I got to sit down and watch this guy. Is he inventing a new form of boxing? Is that what's going on here? Because his body type's kind of unique. His amateur rankings were okay. He won a bronze medal. Most of the guys he fought. I mean, he fought everyone he was supposed to fight. <sighs> Honorable mention, by the way, to Faraz Zahabi, who uh, I believe was doing triple or quadruple duty that night. He was, anyways, very busy as a coach at UFC 217. And his younger brother uh, got to fight on the opening part of the card and unfortunately lost by knockout. Then after that, another fighter he uh, coaches, Joseph Duffy, also lost his fight. So, I just want to give a shout out for him keeping his head calm, despite the fact that his brother took a pretty serious punch. And, uh, you know, he still did his work. Uh, he stayed focused. And, uh, you know what? I don't know if many other people, I, don't, I know if my brother got rocked. I wouldn't be the same afterwards. So kudos to Faraz. Okay, so what's going on on the Fight City and the FightCity.com? Great articles and posts for you guys to check out on the daily. As far as what's going down in the city, we got a new mayor, and maybe the pit bulls will be safe. I don't really know what else to tell you guys. Um, in a bit of irony, I just want to point out, I'm going to get to it in a second, but we're going to have a new champion in Montreal real soon. And uh, Arthur Betterbiev is going to be fighting this weekend. But uh, he's still in litigation with Group Yvon Michel. And this fight is happening thanks to Bob Arum winning the purse bid for this fight with the belt. So, uh, 
Fedorbiev is more than likely going to be a champion. The irony here is that if you watch it in French on RDS, the guy commentating on the fight will be Yvon Michel. So, uh, you know, I'm expecting him to be very professional, obviously, but it's still kind of ironic. Uh, also, in the news, there is a lot of talk of Adonis possibly fighting Badu Jack somehow, since Badu Jack dropped the title, but still is somehow the number one mandatory, even though Bivol fought and won that title last weekend. Not entirely sure how this is going to work out, but the thought is uh, Adonis versus Badu and Elder versus Bivol. See, the issue here is, and now that we are in November, approximately two years ago, November 2015, Elder Alvarez became the number one mandatory. He's waited patiently. He's taken the fights they've given him. When they asked him to step aside, he did so politely. But uh, I believe the WBC is now overreaching their grasp. And uh, this will lead me to some other issues I got with the WBC right now. The rankings don't seem to matter. So um, Mauro Suleiman, the head of the WBC, did a couple of things uh, that aggravated me a little bit. First, if you watch the Wilder Stavern weigh-ins, there's a point where uh, Stavern was getting angry and walking towards some of uh, Deontay's uh, entourage. And uh, Mr. Suleiman uh, yelled at him like a kid. I, I thought it was weird behavior for a millionaire that probably has armed guards. He really... And here's the thing. It made me think of Tyson. I was like, man. I wonder who would have had the balls to do that to Tyson. I don't think there is an answer to that, but um, I don't know, man. It, it left a bad taste in my mouth. Like, who the fuck are you? Seriously, you're going to talk to a fighter like that? There's bodyguards. There's all kinds of people there for that. You got to come in there like you're the boss and yell at him like he's a four-year-old. And then after the fight, Mr. Suleiman said that uh, Wilder is now on the level of Muhammad Ali, Tyson, and Holmes. Uh, no, sir. I can't accept that answer. That is a giant falsehood. To put Wilder in the same category as Ali is blasphemy. And to compare him to Tyson is laughable. To put him in the same league as Holmes is an insult. I'm starting to wonder what's going on with you. I hope you're okay. Because at one point in time, the WBC meant something. It'd be nice if that happened again. Well, I guess we'll find out with Elder Storm Alvarez. As far as what we can watch this weekend, there is plenty to talk about, so let me get started. Friday, November 10th, at 7 a.m., we got one championship from Manila, the Philippines. Then at 4 p.m., in Dublin, Ireland, we've got Bellator 187. Quick notable on that. Please check out Baby Slice, Kimbo Ferguson's son, fighting on that card. 7 p.m. we got Showtime Boxing with Debella Entertainment, Rosa versus Evans. Saturday, Saturday afternoon in the UK, uh, we got Liam Smith versus Liam Williams. That's the World Boxing Super Series that's going down in the afternoon. Saturday night, a little closer to home at the Powerade Center in Brampton, we got a super featherweight fight, Alex Damagani to check out. And also, the WBA, NABA, welterweight titles on the line. Sammy Vargas versus Koivula. I'm not entirely sure how to say his last name, but doesn't matter. I'm rooting for Sammy in that one. 
7 p.m. UFC Fight Night 120, Pettis versus Poirier. That's a solid matchup. I got a couple guilty pleasures on this card. We got Joe Lozon versus Clay Guida, Diego Sanchez versus Matt Brown, and Andre Arlovsky on that card. I'm a little nostalgic. I, I really like that card. I'm going to be watching it. Also going down Saturday night, HBO Championship Boxing is back. Danny Jacobs versus Luis Arias. Luis Arias is 16-0 from Cuba. Danny Jacobs is making the move back to HBO. Also on that card, Jarrell Miller versus Marius Wack. Uh, big Baby Miller is going to be fighting on HBO. It's kind of interesting. It'd be interesting to see uh, Big Baby Miller versus Simon Keane or Adam Braywood. Also on that card, quick notable... Connor Ben making his 10th professional fight, so please check that out. Last but not least, as mentioned earlier, Montreal is going to get a new title. Arthur Betterbiev versus Enrico Koling for the vacant IBF strap. Thank you, Bob Arum and Top Rank. It's going to be on ESPN. Not entirely sure if we're going to be able to watch it here in Quebec because there's always issues with ESPN. It depends what's playing on TSN. Not the point. Arthur Betterbiev is a monster. And he's going to be a champion monster. So make sure you tune in. Follow along. That's it for me this week. Like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I'll see you guys next week.